Xin chào, welcome to Morning Mango and today I want to share with you an one hour total body workout to help you strengthen your arms, your core and your legs. So after doing this, you will feel more toned, feel healthier and for sure you will feel happier. I promise because that's what I feel after doing this. So if you're ready, just draw your mat. Let's do it together. Alright, now let's start by allow yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral, pull the belly button in, chest open and shoulders down. I want you to inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Let's warm up a little bit before we start the main workout. So inhale deeply, you can close your eyes, exhale deeply and please remember to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth during the workout. So. Lengthen your spine, feel your body connecting to the mat through your sitting bones. Inhale and exhale. Relax your shoulders, don't make any tension on your shoulders. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Always feel free to sit on a pillow if it's easier for you to lengthen your spine. Again, a couple more times, stick with your own breath. And exhale deeply. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes, bring your head to one side, feel the side of your neck is stretching to the opposite side. And three more times, each side here with your own breath. Keep breathing, two, belly button in to the opposite side. And last one, inhale and exhale to the other side and start to rotate your head around your neck. So inhale halfway and exhale halfway. Come back, inhale, and exhale, and then reverse. One more deep breath, and one more round, and reverse. And slowly bring your head back to the center, very good. Now you wanted to allow yourself to put your hands on your knees, articulate your spine, shoulders far away from your ears, and then round your spine to your chest, cat and cow in sitting position. Now feel free to bend your knees and open your legs a bit apart if it's easier for you to do this position. So I wanted to articulate your spine, put your shoulders far away from your ears and really pull the belly button in to support your lower back and then round your spine chin your chest. If you feel comfortable with your neck here, I wanted to look all the way up to the ceiling or as far as you can when you arch your back and then round your spine each for a deep breath at a time, chin to chest. I'm going to do it one more time here, inhale. Put your shoulders towards the hips and exhale round your spine and slowly lengthen your spine, sit tall again. Very good. Now rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse. Open your arms to the side, lean on one side to do side bending. Come back, press your sitting bones down to the opposite side and back to the center. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Reach your hands a little bit further and then come back in three, Keep breathing to the opposite side and back to the center. Two, pull the belly button in, shoulders far away from your ears. Lengthen your arms, lengthen your waist. And last two more times each side. Come back to the other side. The last one, reach a little bit further and back to the center to the opposite side and back to the center and start to rotate your arms full tiny circle here for 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep your arms a little bit higher if you can. And 4, 3, 2, 1 and then reverse. So shoulders far away from your ears. Lengthen your spine here for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Soften your elbows. Bring your elbows towards the body and then lengthen all the way towards the side. Now inhale and exhale. Shoulders far away from your ears and keep lengthening your spine. Pull the belly button towards the spine to support your lower back. I'm going to try to do it for five more times. Stick with your own breath. So keep breathing. Four. Pull the belly button in. Reach a little bit further. Three. Lengthen. And two more times. Stick with your own breath. And last one. Inhale. 
and exhale and now slowly bring your arms all the way up and then bring your arms towards the front open so stabilize your torso here all your arms are moving and make sure you pull the belly button in to stabilize your hips very good keep breathing and five four inhale and exhale three keep breathing two stabilize your torso press your sitting bones down to the mat and the last one and slowly bring your palms down to the mat i want you to reach your hand to one side follow a little bit more like someone pulling your hand further away from your shoulder and then come back to the opposite side go a little bit further and back to the center inhale and exhale to the other side and back for three belly button in to the opposite side don't drop your arms two very good keep breathing keep your arms parallel to the ground and last one inhale and exhale to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center hands on your knees rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse very good now i wanted to allow yourself to just come to own proposition and we're gonna move to the main part of the workout so i wanted to open your arms shoulders apart and your legs hip width apart put your shoulders far away from your ears and pull the belly button in here now i wanted to inhale dip your arms down your shoulders down between your arms and then lift it up now make sure you don't arch your back you don't roll your spine keep your back in neutral in the middle i wanted to really engage your core pull the belly button up toward the spine and shoulders far away from your ears inhale and exhale for 10 9 keep breathing 8 7 6 and 5 4 belly button in 3 feel your shoulders movement and last one and slowly articulate your spine shoulders far away from your ears look towards the front cat and cow and make sure you pull the belly button in and then round your spine chin your chest cat and cow here so inhale and exhale or you can reverse the breath if it's easier for you put your shoulders down and then chin to chest each vertebra at a time round your upper spine a little bit higher and slowly bring it back to the center three more times here i wanted to make a little bit more challenging by pull the belly button in squeeze your inner thighs squeeze your booty muscles here and then round your spine upper spine a little bit higher and come back to the center two inhale if you feel comfortable with your neck look all the way up to the sky and then articulate your spine each vertebra at a time stretch your spine here and come back last one shoulders far away from your ears inhale exhale round your spine and slowly bring your side back to neutral very good i wanted to keep your heels and your knees towards the center and stick with each other put your shoulders far away from your ears and lengthen one leg so engage your core and put your shoulders on top of your wrist here eyes on the elbows rotate to face each other lift your leg up as high as you can without moving your hips and then slowly bring it down 10 times so 10 keep breathing nine stabilize your hips eight pull the belly button in seven look down to the mat lengthen your neck six keep breathing activate your foot here and five engage your core as much as possible four belly button in three and two go as far as you can bring it down slowly now last one and slowly bend your knee to the opposite side here so lengthen lift it up and down ten keep breathing nine squeeze in the thighs eight squeeze your booty seven very good six soften your elbows if you need to and five four engage your core three keep breathing very good two inhale and exhale and last one deeply inhale and deeply exhale and slowly bend your knees down very good now we're gonna make a, a little bit more challenging by lengthen your arm and your opposite leg up and then down to the other side so you can always soften your elbow and put your forearm down to the mat if it's easier for your wrist so make sure you listen to your body inhale lengthen exhale come back to the other side and back to the center and 
I'm going to call as much as possible here. Pull the belly button in, reach as far as you can. Stabilize your hips to the other side. And nine more times each side with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Make sure you engage your core to stabilize your hips and support your lower back. It reach a little bit further and then come back. Squeeze your booty to the other side. Engage your core as much as possible. Seven. Reach a little bit further here. Come back. Six. Very good. And five. To the other side. Your hips always facing down. Four. Belly button in. Don't arch your back. Three. To the opposite side. And two more times with your own breath. And last one, inhale and exhale to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center and now allow yourself to just tuck your feet, put your hips, make sure your hips on top of your knees here. So put your shoulders far away from your ears and eyes on the elbow, so rotate to face each other. Now engage your core, pull the belly button towards the spine again and I want you to inhale, lift your knees up and down. 10 times with your own breath. Now if you want to make it easier for your wrist, again, always put your forearms down to the mat and this time shoulders on top of your elbows. Let's do it together here. So 10, 9, bring it down slowly with control, 8, 7, keep breathing, 6, stabilize your shoulders and your hips, 5, your hips on top of your knees all the time, 4, just moving up and down, 3, Lengthen your spine, back in neutral, and two, almost done, guys. Now last one, and slowly bring it down, come to try pose, rotate your wrist, and reverse. Inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to sit along the mat. So come to the beginning of the mat and lengthen your legs, open your legs here with the pad, dorsiflex flex with your feet here. Now, open your arms to the side, soften your elbows and put your shoulders far away from your ears. Feel free to sit on a pillow if it's easier for you to lengthen your spine. I want you to inhale, rise your spine, reach your hands towards the front and then come back 10 times with your own breath. You can always bend your knees too if it's easier for you. Exhale, reach. Inhale, come back. And nine. <sighs> inhale. Lengthen, shoulders down. Eight. Engage your core as much as possible. Seven, move your whole arms towards the front and come back. Six, reach a little bit further and back to the center. And five, exhale and inhale. Very good. Keep breathing. Four, belly button in. Three, reach a little bit further. Lengthen your legs if you want more challenge. Press your heels down. Try to lengthen your legs if you can. Two, press your sitting bones down. Last one. And slowly bring it back. Palms sitting down to the mat. Now inhale and exhale, lean back. What? Bring your arms towards the front and then come back. So always activate your feet, press your heels down to the mat. Keep your arms parallel to the ground. We're gonna try to do it 10 times together. Pull the belly button in and lengthen your spine here. Ex inhale, lean back, what? And exhale, lengthen your spine, sit tall again for 10. Keep breathing. Nine. Always make sure you don't ride your spine, lengthen your spine, keep your back in neutral and go all the way back until you feel like you still keep your back in neutral here. Very good. And six, shoulders far away from your ears. Five, four, inhale and exhale. And three, straighten your wrist. Two, belly button in. And last one, round, I mean, lean backward and then lengthen and hands down. Show your hips and here deeply to your nose. Rotate your wrist a little bit if you need to and then reverse. Rotate your ankles and reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now relax these shoulders here. And I want to bring your hands towards the front, hand on hand. Now pull the belly button in and lean backward. So in this position, just push your chest up. Lengthen your spine, keep your back in neutral, pull the belly button in here and inhale, open your arm to the side, exhale, come back. So even our body, our torso is not moving here, we still feel your core is working to hold your body back in this 
position so open and come back try to only move your arms without your torso so lengthen your spine keep breathing make sure you look towards the front don't pull your chin up to the sky to the ceiling because it's gonna put a lot of pressure on your neck so shoulders far away from your ears keep your arms parallel to the ground try to open your arms as wide as you can and come back we'll try to do it for eight more times with your own breath seven back to the center six inhale and exhale and five engage your core as much as possible four i can feel my body shaking right now three belly button in and two lean a little bit backward if you can and last one and slowly bring it back to the center bend your knees hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> all right now i wanted to lengthen one leg plant up flex with your foot and then bend one knee press your foot down to the mat to bring your hand towards the back move it a little bit closer to the hips so when you lift your hips up your shoulder still on top of your wrist here now if you want to make it easier for your wrist you can put your forearm down to the mat and now engage your core inhale lift your hand up your hips up and exhale come back or lengthen your arms and lift it up and slowly bring it back to the center and try to do it for 10 times each side here with your own breath so make sure you listen to your wrist to do the movements here now pull the belly button in engage your core inhale and lift your hips up and exhale bring it down your toes here can point towards the side so it's gonna make it easier for balance now pull the belly button in inhale lift and exhale down very good keep breathing for nine eight very good seven engage your core as much as possible or for arm down to make it easier for your wrist six and five hips up and down hands over your head four belly button in and three engage your core as much as possible two more times here with your own breath and last one inhale and exhale and slowly bring it down move to the other side now i wanted to make sure that your leg is lengthening your belly button is in so we're gonna protect your lower back here now inhale deeply and hands over your head lift up again and come back 10 times with your own breath so inhale and exhale and nine keep breathing press your whole forearms down or press your hand down if you lengthen your arm eight and seven lift your hips as high as you can six keep breathing all the more challenging version with your arms up and five very good four move your foot further away if it's easier for your balance and three keep breathing very good really engage your car here too and last one and slowly bring your hands down all right and now put your whole forearms down to the mat bend your knees and i want you to inhale put your shoulders far away from your ears put your chest up pull the belly button in now lift your legs up to 90 degrees your lower legs parallel to the ground and now inhale lengthen both legs and start to make a little pose here so you can always just make one leg at a time if it's easier for you but inhale to the opposite side that's the easy version and the more challenging version lengthen your legs up now let's do it in 10 counts here put your shoulders far away from your ears and 10 9 8 use your whole leg to pulse 6 and 5 squeeze your thighs 3 2 and last one slowly bend your knees hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back so lift your legs up to 90 degrees Bring your heels down to the mat, plant up, flex with your feet, arms along your body, press your shoulder blades down to the mat. Make sure you keep your back in neutral, don't arch your back. But you can actually move your whole hands under your back like this, it's arching. Or you can just press your whole black down to the mat, that means your back is rounding and we don't want that. Just keep your back in neutral, activate your feet, 
Move your knees further away from your hips, so your knees on top of your hips here. You already feel your core is working even with not moving. Now you're going to take inhale, bring both legs further away and then come back 10 times with your own breath. Now each leg at a time, if it's easier for you. So really listen to your body. Nine, keep breathing. Squeeze your thighs. Eight, inhale and exhale. Seven, keep the same angle on your knees all the time. Activate your feet. Six, don't arch your back. Belly button in. Five, stabilize your hips. Four, press your whole shoulder blades down. Your whole arms down for more support. Three, keep breathing. And two more times, inhale and exhale come back now last one and slowly bring it back open your knees wider bring one leg down come back to the opposite side and back to the center open your arms wider if you want more support and press your shoulder blades down for nine keep breathing squeezing the thighs eight keep the same angles on your knees seven keep breathing very good guys don't hold your breath six to the other side and five more times here to the opposite side three keep breathing engage your car two pull the belly button in and last one down and lift to the other side come back bring your knees towards each other open your heels wider so the distance from your heels is always wider than your knees towards each other squeeze your thighs feel like some ball between your thighs see i want you to squeeze into the ball and really engage your car pull the belly button in arms along your body move one leg down and then come back to the opposite side and back to the center now bring one leg down to the mat and lift it up to the opposite side squeeze your thighs 10 engage your car to the opposite side and nine make sure your knees always on top of your hips six eight, eight sorry <laughs> to the opposite side seven and exhale come back to the other side and six pull the belly button in shoulder blades down five more times here make sure you keep your hips neutral your back in neutral and four belly button in contract your pelvic floor muscles three inhale to the opposite side and two very good keep breathing and last one keep the same angle on your knee to the opposite side and slowly bring your heels back your legs down to the mat inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now i wanted to allow yourself to dip your torso up press your back down to the mat now always keep one feet distant from your chin to your chest Try to lift your chest even higher to support your neck, arms along your body. I want you to start to pump in your arms here. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale. And exhale. And use your whole arms to pump. Keep breathing with your own breath. So keep, inhale. And exhale. Press your feet down. If you want to make it more challenging, lift your chest up, lift your legs up. and. Press your, your lower back down to the mat. Inhale. Activate your feet. Don't hold your breath. It's going to help you to engage your core more here. And feel free to use your hand to support your head if it's easier for your neck or change to the other side. Or you can always just rest your head down if it's easier for your neck. So just listen to your body but really engage your core here and lift it up. Lengthen your legs towards the front for more challenging. Inhale and exhale. Chest up even higher. Lower your legs for more challenging here. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your torso down. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth very good one more deep breath and exhale bring your head from left to right bring your legs from left to right and slowly bring your back to the center bring your knees your heels down to the mat all right open your legs a bit apart press your feet down to the mat arms along your body now press your lower back down tuck your hips forward your tailbone forward draw your hips all the way up i want to just 
squeeze your booty muscles towards each other squeezing your thighs by imagining that you have a ball between your thighs so squeeze and bring your knees towards each other now I want you to inhale and slowly make a little pulse here with your hips so press your feet down, shoulder blades down and 10, 9, 8, keep breathing 6 and 5, 4 belly button in 3, 2 now last one, lift your hip as high as you can but listen to your lower back here lower it a little bit down if it's easier for your back so really engage your core, listen to your body now I want you to pull the belly button in, lift your heels up and then down for 10, 9, keep breathing, 8, 7, stabilize your torso, 6 and 5, squeeze your booty, 3, 2, shoulder blades down, last one and now draw your hips all the way up now engage your core and open your knees wider and come back just open as wide as you can but listen to your knees and your thighs here don't have to go all the way to the side just really listen to your body and do to the range of movement that you feel good so stabilize your hips keep your hip neutral balance inhale open and exhale come back for five more times with your own breath keep breathing four belly button in three and two squeezing the thighs last one and slowly draw your hips all the way down shake your hips a little bit inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now open your arms to the side shoulder blades down again lift your legs up to 90 degree dorsal flex with your feet bring your heels lower so your lower legs parallel to the ground move your knees further a little bit from your hips so your knees on top of your hips and you're gonna feel your back your core is already engaged here pull the belly button in now make sure you don't arch your back press your back down keep your back in neutral I want you to inhale and open your leg to the side lengthen come back and put it back to the center so just go as far as you can don't have to go so far don't have to lengthen your legs all the way up just really listen to your body do what you can and do what you feel like it's good Keep breathing, do it really slow to feel challenged, to feel shaken, and to feel controlled. So very good, pull the belly button in, now really stabilize your hips. You can use your hand to press your hip bones down to the mat too. Press your shoulder blades down, put your shoulders far away from your ears. And eight more times here with your own breath. Keep breathing, seven, inhale, and exhale, six. Engage your core as much as possible and five, squeezing your thighs when you bring your legs back to the center four, inhale and exhale and three more times with your own breath keep breathing two very good and last one lengthen and slowly bring it back hug your knees to your chest rotate your root ankles and then reverse, inhale deeply, exhale deeply and when you're ready, press your feet down to the mat, bend your knees again now this time, open your arms to the side, press your whole shoulder blades down to the mat draw your hip bones, draw your hips forward, tuck your tailbone forward and your hips all the way up to the ceiling so make a straight line from your knees to your hips and your shoulders here now I want you to engage your core and start to rotate your hips from left to right so 10 9 it's just a tiny movement 7 you feel your hips are twisting your oblique are twisting so your waist is rotating very good keep breathing and 5 slowly with your breath 3 2 and last one and slowly bring it back to the center draw your hips all the way down to the mat shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> all right now i wanted to lengthen one leg press your heel down dorsiflex with your foot and now inhale bring your arms along your body here the other leg just lift up 90 degree weight on your knee i wanted to keep your hips stabilized pull the belly button in now make sure you press your whole arms down to the mat engage your core as much as possible and lift your hips just above the mat and then down so you don't have to go so high just really pull the belly button in press your shoulder blades down and always make sure you reach your hands towards your heels 
spread your whole arm down for more support 10 times each side inhale 10 keep breathing 9 belly button in soften your knee if you need to and 7 6 and 5 you're gonna feel your whole leg and hips and core is working here 2 and last one and slowly to the opposite side so pull the belly button in inhale lift exhale down stabilize your hips and keep them balanced nine eight very good seven soften your knees six don't lock your knee here and five press your heels down three two and last one slowly bring it down hug your knees to your chest rotate your ankles and then reverse inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> all right and when you're ready i want to lift your legs up to 90 degree dorsi flex with your feet now inhale and bring your hands behind your head to support your neck you can always make it easier by press your feet down to the mat so it's really up to you listen to your body here now i'm going to make a challenging version today so lift your head up pull the belly button in open your elbows wider and press your shoulders all the way towards the hip here and i want you to inhale and exhale reach your torso up your chest up and then down for 10 keep breathing nine i tried i wanted to try to do it as slow as you can eight seven bring it down slowly six make sure always keep on feet distant from your chin to your chest move your knees further away and three belly button in feel your six back abs and last one slowly bring your torso down arms along your body palms facing each other lengthen one leg and just keep your leg above the mat here inhale activate your feet exhale switch to the opposite side so make sure you stabilize your hips here you can always press your whole arms down to the mat for more support otherwise make it more challenging by just keep your arms above the head the mat here so i'm going to inhale switch to the opposite side stabilize your hip press your hip bones down stabilize your torso pull the belly button in really engage your core to stabilize those hips and core here so 10 lengthen lower your legs more challenging nine eight exhale every time you switch six very good keep breathing and four belly button in reach your hands towards the heels three two bring your knee further away towards the head and last one to the other side and slowly hug your knees to your chest shake your hips rotate your ankles again and then reverse all right now arms along your body if you want to make it more challenging lengthen your arms all the way towards the front but make sure you have to keep your back in neutral here press your hip bones down to the mat squeeze your booty muscles here arms along your body now i wanted to lift your legs up two legs at a time but if you want to make it easier if you're a beginner just lift each leg at a time here so 10 counts here with your own breath let's do it together inhale and exhale back in neutral really pull the belly button in 10 make sure you press your shoulder blades down for more support 9 8 engage your core 7 pull the belly button towards the spine and switch back to each leg at a time if you ever feel like your back is arching so much we don't want to arch your back we want to keep your back in neutral here six inhale lead exhale down just a little bit above the mat but it's really challenging with your whole lower abs and core here and four belly button in shoulder blades down and shoulders far away from your ears two very good now last one lead and exhale down and hug your knees to your chest shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> all right and when you're ready rotate your ankles and lean on one side to do side kick series so hands support your head the other hand in front of the chest lengthen both legs a little bit forward to the mat so you're gonna feel easier for the balance here make sure your hips not forward not backward just really keep hip on hip and pull the belly button in shoulders far away from your ears your lower your forearm stick to your chest to keep balance easier now inhale lift your leg up just above the mat your hips and dorsiflex with your foot so make a little pulse here with your leg top leg 
for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Squeeze your body, five, four. Contract your pelvic floor muscles, two, and last one. And now lift it as high as you can. Bring it towards the front. Press your lower leg down to the mat to make it easier for balance. Lift it up and then down. Now make sure you do it really slow to make it really challenging here. Ten times with your own breath. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale. Lift and come back. Always bend your knee, your bottom knee, if it's easier for you. So listen to your body. Nine. Very good. Keep breathing. Eight. Inhale. Lift and forward. Exhale. Come back and down. Seven. Pull the belly button in, shoulders far away from your ears. Very good. Six, keep breathing. Use your breath to control the movement. Squeeze in your thighs. And five, inhale halfway. Exhale halfway. Four, lift towards the front. Come back. Three, belly button in. And back to the center. And two more times with your own breath. And last one. Inhale all the way up. And exhale down. And then lift it up. And back to the center. Bring your legs down through your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now I'm going to allow yourself to lift your leg up. Just above the hip again. Press your lower leg down to the mat. Now pull the belly button in to support your lower back. Bring your knee towards the front. Bend your knee and then lengthen towards the other leg so in exhale reach and then inhale all the way lengthening keep breathing nine always keep your leg parallel to the ground eight you can always rest your head down on your arm if it's easier for your wrist seven very good keep breathing and five six sorry and five pull the belly button in Four, exhale and lengthen. Three, activate your foot. Two more times with your breath. Now last one, bend and lengthen. And slowly bring your leg down. Shake your hips a little bit. You can give a little massage to your side, the side of your hips if you need to. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now I want to allow yourself to lift your leg as high as you can all the way up to the ceiling here. Activate your foot here, plantar flex with your ankle and soften your bottom knee, press your whole leg down to the mat. Now inhale deeply, start to rotate your leg. So inhale halfway and exhale halfway. The, more, the key thing here is you have to stabilize your hips here. So only your leg is moving and really press your bottom leg down to make it easier for balance. So nine, eight, tiny circle. And lateral if you feel like you can do that. Six, you can always soften your knee and keep the same angle on your knee. Move from your hips if it's easier for you. And four, three, two, and last one, feel your inner thighs working and reverse. So 10, pull the belly button in, nine, eight, very good. Seven. Activate your foot. Six. And five. Four tiny circle. Feel your muscles, your deep muscles inside working. Very good. Stabilize your hips. And last one. Inhale halfway. Exhale halfway. And slowly bring your leg down. Bend your knees. Shake your hips a little bit. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, let's move to the other side, to the psychic series on the other side here. So hands support your head again, your whole legs towards the front of the mat for easier for balance. Now make sure your hips not forward, not backward. Just keep your hips in the middle, your forearms stick to your chest, your shoulders far away from your ears and press your whole palms down to the mat. Now pull the belly button in, lift your top leg just above the mat, dorsal flex with your feet and start to make a little pulse here for 10, nine eight seven stabilize your torso five four three keep breathing two and last one all right lift your leg as high as you can press your lower leg down to the mat bring your leg towards the front and lift it up lengthen your leg for more challenge 
and bring it down with control so really control your leg here inhale and exhale pressure bottom leg down for more control shoulders far away from your ears and nine and exhale very good you guys are doing amazing eight keep it up we're almost done beautiful and seven pull the belly button in press your bottom leg down to the mat six inhale halfway exhale halfway only bring it down to the point that your leg parallel to the ground four and three more times the inhale lift towards the front come back always keep your foot dorsi flex three squeeze your thighs really feel your leg is crazy burning muscles is beauty and it becomes so much tone <laughs> very good and last one here inhale all the way up slowly slowly with your breath do it really slowly and control and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips a little bit inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> all right now stabilize your hips again keep your leg just about the hips now inhale bend your knee towards the front and exhale lengthen if you want to make it more easier just bend your bottom knee here press your lower leg down otherwise lengthen and keep balance on your hips here inhale exhale reach inhale lengthen and knee up and then lengthen and nine stabilize your hips keep your leg parallel to the ground eight always make sure only your leg is moving seven stick your forearms towards the chest shoulders far away from your ears and five very good four do it really slowly to feel it working so hard very good exhale bend inhale lengthen and last one and slowly bring your leg down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now i wanted to allow yourself to do the last movement before the psychic series so lift your leg up and bend your bottom knee to 90 degree and your top leg lengthen all the way up to the ceiling now activate your foot and start to make a tiny circle with your whole leg try to lengthen all the way up but if you feel it's easier for you to bend your knee so just do it and keep the same angle on your knee here with your leg every movement start from your hips so we're gonna try to do it for eight more times with your own breath keep breathing tiny circles seven six five four do it slowly three try to point all the way up stabilize your hips two and last one and reverse feel your whole legs are shaking your hips are shaking here nine keep breathing it the higher you put your leg the more challenging it is for balance and for moving six very good five four tiny circle and two and last one and bend your knee down shake your hips a little bit inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to sit along the mat now sit tall with your back in neutral, chest open and shoulders down. I wanted to bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Now inhale and exhale, bring your arms down, chest open, lengthen your spine, lean backward. Now make sure you don't arch your back, you don't rock your spine. Keep your back in the middle in neutral position. No move backward, hold it here, lift your leg up and down for 10 times each side. So 10, keep breathing, nine, belly button in look towards the front it make sure you don't pull your chin up because it's gonna cause a lot of pressure on your neck here beautiful six and five four activate your ankles three and two slowly with your breath last one and slowly hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to just lengthen your legs, dorsiflex with your feet, and now pull the belly button in, bring your hands behind your head, 
Now engage your core, open your elbows wider, press the shoulders down towards the hips, pull the belly button in, lean backward again. Now try to stabilize your hips in this position. Engage your core, put your chest up, plant up, flex with your feet and dorsi flex. So pull the belly button in, 10, 9, it looks super easy, 8, but you have to use your whole core to keep your body in this position. Seven, lean a little bit more. I feel like my voice is shaking as well. Six and five, four. Press your sitting bones down, chest up. Three, lengthen your spine. Two, really engage your core here. And last one, and slowly hug your knees to your chest again. Shake your hips and you deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> Very good. Now you're going to allow yourself to bring your hands behind your hips. Close your elbow towards the back, bend your knees, press your feet down, put your shoulders far away from your ears. Now inhale and bring your torso backward and then lengthen your arms for 10. Keep breathing, 9. Close your elbow towards the back, 8. So you should feel it on your upper arms here and your shoulders. 6. Chest up, engage your core, 5. Don't arch your back, don't roll your spine. And 3. Belly button in, 2. Now last one, and slowly lengthen. Soften your elbows a little bit. Now inhale, press your feet down, lift your hips up. Engage your core and start to make a little pulse here. If you want to make it easier for your wrist, again, press your whole forearms down to the mat. And gonna do it together for 10 counts here. So 10, nine, belly button in, eight, seven, chin to chest, look towards the front, push your chest up, five, four, press your feet down, two, and last one, slowly bring your hips down. Very good. All right, now I wanted to allow yourself to lean on one side to do side lift. So put your forearm down to the mat, your front leg, your top leg towards the front, your bottom leg towards the back. Press your feet down, put your shoulders far away from your ears, lift your waist up, pull the belly button in. You can put your hand under your waist here to make sure you all, it always in neutral curve. Pull the belly button and lift your hips as high as you can and start to make a little pose again. Put your shoulders far away from your ears. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Press your whole forearm down to the mat. 3, 2, and last one. Slowly bring your hips down. Now this one a little bit more challenging. Put your hand on hand, press it down here. Keep your shoulders far away from your ears. Lift your waist up and lift your hips as high as you can. Press your bottom leg down to the mat and move it towards the center. So inhale, plant up, flex with your top leg. Lift your leg up towards the back and then towards the front again for 10. Stabilize your torso here, nine. Keep breathing, this is the last challenge so I wanted to try your best, eight. Stabilize your hips, only your leg is moving, seven. Put your shoulders far away from your ears, six. Lift your leg as high as you can, five. Very good. Four, you can do that. Three, inhale halfway, exhale halfway, come back. Two, really engage your core to support the lower back. And last one, and slowly bring it down to the opposite side. Very good, all right? Now you wanted to put your forearm down to the mat again. Your top leg towards the front and your bottom leg towards the back. Pull the belly button in, shoulder on top of your elbow, and put your whole forearm down. Lift your waist up. Shoulders far away from your ears, 10 time little pulls. So lift your hips up and 10, 9, 8, 7, keep breathing, 6, 5, 4, very good, 3, 2, don't hold your breath and slowly bring your hips down, hand on hand, shoulders far away from your ears and move your bottom leg towards the center. Now I wanted to inhale, lift your hips up and lift your top leg as high as you can, move it backward and then come back. So 10, if you're a beginner, you can just hold this position with the move in your leg. Nine, keep breathing as high as you can. Eight, inhale deeply to your nose, lift your waist up. Seven, hips as high as you can, shoulders far away from your ear. Very good. Six, keep breathing. And five, pull the belly button in. Four, three, awesome. Two, and last one, and slowly bring your hips down, bend your knees, come to sit up, hug your knees to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> All right, let's go down. 
before we complete the workout today so lengthen your legs open your legs to width apart dorsiflex with your feet open your arm to the side lengthen your arms and reach your hands further to the side here shoulders down chest open pull the belly button in and feel free to use a pillow to sit on if you need support rotate the torso to one side exhale towards the opposite ankle and then come back to the opposite side exhale reach inhale switch for 10 keep breathing to the other side make it easier by bend your knees here and move forward as far as you can really listen to your body don't have to go so far just do what your body feel good and challenging at the same time but mostly good very good all right and seven pull the belly button in to the other side straighten your wrist six to the opposite side go a little bit further if you can five exhale reach and four belly button in reach a little bit further if you can very good pressure heels down pressure sitting bones down three belly button all the way towards the spine and two more times to each side now last one <sighs> come back exhale reach bring it back and slowly bring your hands up rotate the shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth <sighs> rotate your wrist and reverse interlace your fingers and rotate your wrist again and reverse reach your hands all the way up for five lengthen your spine three two and last one lengthen towards the front reach come back pull and then open your chest for three two shoulders far away from your ears and last one and slowly bring your hands down rotate your shoulders fully to four directions again and reverse you can close your eyes lengthen your spine feel your body lengthening and connecting to the mat through your sitting bones again and slowly bring your hands on your thighs shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply to your mouth inhale one more time and exhale all right now bring your hands behind your head open your elbows all the way towards the side and to the back open and shoulders down towards the hips so pull the belly button in hold it here for three two and one lengthen your arms without changing your upper arm position and then bend your elbow you can still close your eyes here to feel your body keep balance on your sitting bones so this is a quite good exercise when you close your eyes to work on your balance so i want you to try and very listen to your body here beautiful inhale lengthen exhale come back straighten your wrist for three more times with your own breath two reach come back and the last one and slowly bring it back bring your arms all the way towards the front palms facing each other you can slowly open your eyes if you want or just keep closing your eyes if it's easier uh, if it's more challenging for you now open your arms all the way to the sides and come come back for 10 slowly nine lengthen your spine and slightly engage your core here to support your lower back all your arms are moving your torso stabilized your hips stabilized look towards the front lengthen your neck and spine very good keep breathing lengthen your arms lengthen your wrist beautiful in three two go all the range of movements here and last one and bring your hands down on your thighs again shake your hips a little bit inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply to your mouth <sighs> try not to move your shoulders here up and down just stabilize your shoulders and inhale and exhale pull the belly button slightly in inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and one more deep breath and exhale and slowly open your eyes when you're ready so bend your knees press your feet down to the mat chest open hands behind your thighs open your elbows wider and I want to round your spine cat and cow in sitting position shoulders down and then articulate your spine shoulders down look towards the front try to open your chest here pull the belly button in five more times with your own breath so round your spine shoulders down 
and then come back. Always keep your elbows wide and round. Slightly engage your core open. And two more times, stay with your own breath. And open. And last one, round. And open. And slowly bring your hands down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Now you can always keep your sitting position like this or if you feel comfortable, you can just cross your leg and sit tall with your back lengthening here. And I wanted to interlace your fingers here, reach your hands all the way towards the front, start to rotate your arms to, and your shoulders to one side. Come back to the opposite side and come back for three more times each side here with your own breath. Two, inhale and exhale to the other side. Last one, to the opposite side and back to the center. Now lift your arms all the way up over your head. Reach your shoulders all the way up. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Put your shoulders all the way down. Lengthen your spine. Hold it for three, two, and one. Arms to the side. Reach your hands further like someone pulling your hands away from your shoulders. Keep your arms parallel to the ground and lengthen your spine still. Hold it here for three, two and one reach your hand to one side all the way feel your waist is lengthening your arm is lengthening to the other side reach a little bit further and three more times each side slowly with your breath to the left to the right and two belly button in to the other side and last one to the opposite side and slowly back to the center hands on your thighs here rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse now open your arm to the side again do side bending so lean on one side lengthen your waist and then come back to the opposite side and back to the center and again feel free to close your eyes if you want to work more with the balance and feel your body keeping balance on your sitting bones inhale and exhale go a little bit further you can try to do it for three more times with your own breath slightly engage your core to support your lower back open your chest lengthen your arm very good and two and last one to the right last one to the left and back to the center and slowly bring your hands down your knees stretch your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and take a little bit, take a couple seconds here. I wanted to just sit tall, hands on your knee, close your eyes, inhale deeply and exhale deeply and relax all your shoulders here. Try to relax all from your head to your toes. So start to skimming from your forehead, your cheeks, your lips, your chin, your neck, your shoulders, your arms your hips and your legs here just lengthen your spine open your chest inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth just focus on relax all the muscles and on your breath inhale exhale inhale deeply and exhale deeply deeply inhale one more time relax all the muscles exhale and slowly open your eyes when you're ready inhale and exhale and that's the work out today thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed it if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the bell to see notification every day when i upload a new video and if you feel like this workout might be helpful for someone feel free to share because sharing is caring and i would love to have more people in the community so we can support each other and we can work out and be stay healthy together so see you tomorrow for the next workout bye bye